a convicted Italian mafia killer has been arrested in France after 16 years on the run. Edgardo Greco had taken on a new identity and was working in a restaurant as a pizza chef, but in Italy he was wanted for the murder of two brothers during the war between two gangs in the early 1990s. Imagine being a hitman in one of Italy's most ruthless mafia, only to be caught in a French pizzeria, tossing dough instead of plotting hits. Sounds surreal? This is the true story of Edgardo Greco, captured in February 2023 by local French authorities in collaboration with Interpol enforcement. From mafioso to master chef, his story unfolds like a script from a crime drama, but every word is true. Born in 1960 in the small town of Belvedere Maritimo, Calabria, Edgardo Greco rose through the ranks of the Perna Prano a notorious mafia faction embroiled in the violent underworld of southern Italy. By 2006, Greco was a convicted man, on the run with a life sentence hanging over his head for the brutal double murder of the Bartolomeo brothers, key players in a rival gang, the Pino Sena. This began his life on the run, leading him to the unsuspecting streets of Saint-Étienne, France. There, under the guise of an ordinary pizza chef at La Gora, Greco managed to evade capture for 16 years. Greco had been living under an European arrest warrant issued in May 2014. This warrant cited his life sentence for the brutal murders of Stefano and Giuseppe Bartolomeo in 1991, and the attempted murder of Mosciaro Emiliano, crimes that stained the early 90s with blood during a vicious mafia war in Cosenza. Greco, a soldier in the Pernaprano gang, had been part of a ruthless ambush that ended with the Bartolomeo brothers being barbarically beaten with a metal bar in a fish shop, their bodies dissolved and never found, a tactic to prevent any challenge to the gang's authority, usually dissolved in acid. This heinous act triggered a significant shift within the Cosenza Mafia, prompting key members like the Notar Giacomo and Pagano brothers to turn state's evidence, driven by the fear of facing a similar fate. Amidst this chaos, Greco vanished, only to re-emerge years later in Saint-Étienne, France. Here, he adopted the guise of an ordinary pizza chef, struggling financially, Greco was compelled to work to support himself, a contrast to his past life of power and intimidation. Living alone while his family resided in Austria, he maintained a low profile under a fake French passport he possessed, blending into the local scene so effectively that even the owner of the pizzeria where he worked believed he was genuinely French. In the city of Saint-Étienne, Edgardo Greco managed to stay hidden for many years, living under the alias Paolo Dimitrio a name he borrowed from another criminal in Puglia, which was not a smart idea to say the least. His downfall began when he opened his own restaurant, which did not last long. He made the mistake of appearing in a local newspaper proudly showcasing his establishment. This caught the attention of the authorities who, after conducting further investigations and using facial recognition technology, discovered his true identity. Interpol coordinated with local law enforcement, and on February 3rd, Edgardo Greco was arrested. He was later extradited to Italy, where he faces a life sentence for his past crimes. This marks the end of a former mob boss hitman, whose journey from executing hits to running a pizza shop concludes in an Italian prison cell.